There ain't no drizzle happening here. This is a turd machine. This is a two ingredient thing. It does not. <laughs> it's taking a lot of muscle to crush those. You look like you're on your tippy toes. I'm little. Hey. <laughs> Folks, there's a big issue happening in America right now. If you haven't heard the news, there are 15 million boxes of unsold Girl Scout cookies across the nation. But you can do something about it. We have five different things you can do with Girl Scout cookies once you get them in your kitchen. So we're helping the Girl Scouts use up some of these cookies. I'm gonna show you the first thing you can do. It's called Thin Mints Popcorn. Real simple recipe here. I'm gonna put a little Bryce spin on it. What's a Bryce spin, you might be asking? I don't use measuring cups. Come along for the adventure. We're gonna have some fun. All right, so the recipe calls for, you know, roughly 12 Thin Mints. Bryce's World, that means 15 to 20. We're gonna crush them, so here we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and take um, popcorn Thin Mint, what? And we're gonna put the popcorn in, does that mean pop it with it? It says crush them with the popcorn. In a microwave, melt the baking chips, my bad. Okay, so these go in here. We're gonna melt the baking chips with shortening. Let's give that a whirl. And next, we need some shortening, Alex. So the recipe calls to melt this until smooth. We're gonna give it a shot. Okay, man, look at that. That's, that's what I call smooth. Okay. Oh my, oh my. I'm gonna do, you know, a Bryce Audible here. We need a few more Thin Mints in here. Going back to the crush. I'm not gonna lie, that is surprisingly good. You combine the salt with the sweet, you just get a really good combination. So folks, there you have it. Got a little messy, but our first recipe, Thin Mint Popcorn. Okay, so you learned one thing you could do with Thin Mints. We're moving on to lemonade Girl Scout cookies. We're gonna make some no-bake lemonade pie. I'll show you how it's done. First, it says we need to crush an entire packet of lemonade cookies. I will be doing that with my hands. Crush. Crush. Crush, 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 crush. It's taking a lot of muscle to crush those. You look like you're on your tippy toes. I'm little. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next step. We have to mix this crushed cookie with a third of a something of melted butter. I assume a third of a stick. Um, so this is making like the crumble, like the pie crust. So we're gonna put that on the bottom of a pie pan. Pie pan. All right, so this is making the graham cracker crust. I'm gonna give it a nice little mixy mix. Crust, pressing into the bottom of this pan here. So now we need to make the filling. We're gonna do cream cheese, powdered sugar, and a little bit of lemon juice. So now I'm adding in Cool Whip to this. You're actually supposed to put it on top, but I'm gonna fold it in with this. Look at that, this is gonna be good. <laughs> All right, now's the moment. We're gonna put it in here. <gasps> and now we have a no-bake lemonade pie with lemonade Girl Scout cookies. Cool. So we've got two things down so far. You might be wondering, what the heck else can you do with this? We're gonna show you. This recipe is called peanut butter trail mix fudge. Step one, we're going to do all of these guys, these melted candy coating deals. We're gonna do a half a cup of this guy, back to Bryce's way of measuring. And then, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go back to the microwave. Really, I would say my mixing abilities are just a little bit better than my opponent today. Okay, now we're gonna mix in some nuts. And then, you know, roughly a half a cup of these. Refrigerate until firm. There you go. Look at that. Thank you. Wonderful. Things you can do with Girl Scout cookies number four. We're using Samoas. There is no recipe for this, and it's probably the simplest one, and I'm so happy Bryce doesn't have it. We're making Samoa ice cream sandwiches. Here's how it's done. Ice cream. This is a two ingredient thing. It does not. <laughs> going full steady cam there. This is two ingredients. It does not get any more simple than this. 
You've got your ice cream. You've got your cookies. Scoop up a little bit of this. And now you have yourself a Samoa ice cream sandwich. That is thing number four you can do with Girl Scout cookies. How amazing. Some people say I'm an expert when it comes to cooking in the kitchen, which is why I've been given the most difficult task yet, which is the peanut caramel thumbprint no bake cookies. Just try saying that one time fast. All right, so first we're going to line 24 miniature uh, muffin cups with paper liners. We have four. So we're gonna start with some peanut butter chips. Say hello to peanut butter chips. All right, so we got those in there. We're gonna microwave these, these chips. I had a feeling I would be recruited to help on this. <laughs> this is a level 10 in the kitchen, which is why I'm here, but you know, it's tough. Yeah, this is going real well. <laughs> real well, Alex. <laughs> now you're gonna put the caramels in with your mixture. They're stuck. This is gonna make your drizzle. happening here. This is a third machine. <laughs> we got something severely off in that recipe. <laughs> There's an easier way to go about this and help the Girl Scouts out. All you gotta do is buy them. Just buy the cookies and eat them with your mouth. Yeah, so you can help with the oversupply oh, of Girl Scout cookies. Thank you for that warning. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is buy them and eat them. And you can make them into cool things. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.